So what did we learn last time? We learned about the broadcast notation. Now you should be very familiar with the fact that a vector can be represented as this broadcast notation A. What is the meaning of A? I don't know, unless you tell me, unless I tell you, right? So I can write anything, A, this vector, or even V8, for example, right? If we have a good communication, I write this as V8, it is also okay. It's not ambiguous, right? But most importantly, we can write them in a column form with all these coefficients. What is the meaning of this coefficient? What is the meaning of A0? Related to probability, yes, related to probability. So it's talking about what component has A0 part. The first basis vector. Oh, but probably I would say if I write it as A close to A0, then of course I have a basis vector, right? Which is, I can call it V0. And then I have A1, V1, and all the way to a n minus one, V n minus one. And now I see that I have a typo. What is the dimension of the vector I just showed you? It should be n, right? Uh, here is n plus one, right? what I'm writing, right? So this is a typo, it should, should be A n minus one. This should be B n minus one. Of course, I can claim that I did not make mistake. I say I have an n plus one dimensional space. It doesn't matter, right? The point is I have n component here from a1 to a n minus 1. What you mean for each of them is that I have, when I write this as a column vector, I means I have a0 of v0, which is the basis vector. Just now, if you again forget what I'm talking about, go back to your three-dimensional space. I have a vector equal to 1, x hat plus 2 y hat plus 0 0.3 z hat. I can write it as 1, 2, 0 0.3, right? And 2 means that I have two components of y hat. And y hat is the basis vector in the y direction. Is that okay? Now, very important, right? This is now you do not need to be so office to you and then we do a lot of we did a lot of examples and eventually we found out that the inner product of the vector is nothing but just the bra times the cat okay can you tell me again how do you find the bra of a vector for example i have a right what is a bra Do the transpose, very good, and then do the complex conjugate, right? So I can still write the whole thing as A0 all the way to A n minus 1, but I take the transpose T and then take the complex conjugate. When I take the transpose, what is this? It becomes A0 all the way to A n minus 1. This is the row vector. I row it. I still need to take the compressed conjugate. I do this by applying it to each of the elements inside this row vector. Very simple, but you cannot make mistake. And what is compressed conjugate again? You put a negative value to the imaginary part, right? Good. If you forget anything, but then but you should at least remember what is the meaning of a bra cat. A bra times a cat is the inner product. Okay? We talk about superposition also. Superposition is what? Just that you have the any uh, state is a linear combination of the basis state. And that is basically what we just said here, right? And uh, as I mentioned many times, spin up, spin down are just some basis. It has nothing to do with the x hat, y hat, and c hat in your space. 
Okay, they live in another space. Just be careful of that. If you cannot make sense out of something, just remember this is because it is not in the real space. Then we say measurement. When we do a measurement, what happened? Just like the spinning coil, stop it. It was a linear combination of zero and one, linear combination of up and down, linear combination of head and tail, but again, Head and tail is not a really not a real quantum object, right? It's just an analogy. Or just like the girl, when a linear combination, whether yes or no to my question, right? When we measure what happened, it will collapse the wave function. Every state is also a wave function, right? If we project it into the real space. Actually, it is very neat if we use the bracket notation. If you Maybe I show you, but you don't know to know that. For a wave function, it's just equal to that you project it. Uh, if you have state A, you project it to the X, the eigenvector of the real space. Now, this eigenvector of the real space is not X, Y, Z. Every point is a basis in this dimension. I'm very com uh, too much, I'm talking about too much, but we, let's ignore it. So the point is, you do the measurement, you will collapse to one of the basis states, right? So what is the probability? It's going to collapse to the square of the magnitude of the coefficient in front of the basis state. So can you tell me, for example, for this vector, when I do the measurement, if this is a, a quantum state, what is the probability that you will collapse to the first, second, I, I call it, the first one is zero states, the second one is the first state, what is the probability it's going to collapse to the first state? Huh? Say again? A1 square, yeah, A1 magnitude square, okay. Good, and uh, we we'll talk about the awful normal basis. Right? Without reading this, do you still remember what's the meaning of orthonormal? Good. Very good. Right? Orthonormal basis has the basis vector. So this basis, right, in this particular case, has a set of vector B I, for example. This is very difficult to see. It has a, this basis, this is a set, a space, right? It's a set. In this set, you have some vector, B, I, right? B, C, O, B, 1, B, 2, B, 3, B, 4, right? And as you said, it is of a long mode if it is, if, the top product between the bases, when they are not the same, just like the 3D, X and Y are not the same, is zero. That means they are orthogonal. Right? Orthogonal to each other. Perpendicular to each other. When you're perpendicular to each other, it means we don't have anything in common. Right? To myself, I'm going to be normalized. Of course, I have 100% in common to myself. I project to myself because the, for the same vector, right? But not just that I have 100% in common. My length is also one, one unit. Okay, then this is called of a normal, right? So in quantum computing from now on, always think about of a normal basis that really simplify your calculation, right? Because once you top product a basis vector with another basis vector, they will all be zero if they are not the same and becomes one if they are the same, right? For example, this is just like the X, Y, Z system, right? If you have X dot, for example, I have 0 0.5 X hat plus 0 0.5 
y hat. This is not a. Uh, I should let's just do uh, square one over square root two. So you see that it is also long. One over square root two, right? I have two vector. This is just a regular vector operation, right? What is this? x dot x one, right? What is x dot y? zero right so it becomes very easy to deal with this thing when you have an orthonormal basis because this one gives you zero if not then you need to think about what's x dot y you cannot that is very complicated that's one thing right and eventually we talk about this normalized vector orthonormal basis you're just saying that the basis vector is normalized in quantum computing, not just the basis want to need to be of normalized. We also want to have all the vector we are dealing with are normalized. And how do you find the length of the vector? It is just the inner product of itself. Any questions? Yeah. Ways, or is it just yes, you can do that, but then when you go back to the uh, cat, then you need to rotate in another direction, okay. uh, uh, clockwise. Each will be yeah, yeah, so it was counterclockwise, now you do clockwise. Yeah, which when you go from cat to bra, right? That is, but in, yeah. Yeah, sure. Any other questions? Yeah. So in the next slide, if the, so the last line there, if it's not normalized, uh, you can just normalize it by yes. the product of so just divide the coefficient by the whole length. Exactly. Yeah, if it's not normalized, we need to normalize. We'll study it later. That is a problem after measurement. After measurement, then you collapse to one of them, right? Uh, here is not measurement, but it collapses to one of them. Then you need to normalize it. We will look at that later. Good question. Yeah. Okay.